When you're ready to transfer accounts from your sales company into your related finance company, you're going to want to make sure that you begin the process in that finance company. So if at the top of the Fusion screen you don't see your finance company listed, make sure you go into File menu and change your company. Then you're going to go into Receivables and select Import Contract into Finance Company. Here you'll have to select your source company, which is typically your sales company, unless you're boarding loans in from an outside finance company. So you'll select your source company, and click OK, and then you're going to scope for the contract or contracts that you want to have it to choose from when you're transferring. So I'm going to scope by receivable sales, and I'm going to look for accounts from the beginning of the year through today. I have an options menu in the transfer area that will let me change my source company. So at this point, if I were using an outside finance company, I could change my source company. I can view a ledger, print the ledger, or print the F&I screen if I need to. I can also use the different tabs here to continue my scoping process. So I'm going to click Show Filtered Results now, and I'll have a list available to select accounts from to transfer. I can select all if I know I need to transfer all of these contracts into the finance company. I can highlight or check one contract and transfer that one, or I could select a few if I know I just need to transfer a couple of contracts at this point. So if you select all, you would click batch transfer and if you're going to select one or a few at a time click transfer one. A transfer modal will appear and again I have my options menu and at this point I can view or print the ledgers, the F&I screen, status screen, or the insurance information. Then what I'm going to do is decide whether or not I want the contract number to stay the same from the sales company into the finance company. I can change it by simply putting a T so that I know if it's a transfer. I could change the stock and contract number completely, or I could leave them the same. The loan purchase date is going to default to today, but if you need to change that for some reason, you have your calendar modal here that's available if you click the ellipses. Now your company defaults should be selected to determine whether or not to pay off the loan in the sales company and to carry over or not carry over tags and alerts. You can check or uncheck these on the fly for a single contract if you want to. And if your, company, if your contract includes pickup payments, those you can check. Yes, you want to include those in the transfer or no, you want to leave the pickup payments in the sales company. Same thing with Collector Pro records. If you're transferring from one related finance company to another, you can bring over those collections records by keeping this yes checked. Your discount percentage rate will be populated here, and if you need to change that on the fly, you're able to, and that in effect will change the discount amount. Your lot can be changed if necessary, as can your lien holder. Once you have all your information completed here in this screen, you're able to click transfer and the system will begin the transfer process. Once that's completed, if you select more than one account to transfer at a time, then it will uh, ask you if you're ready to continue or if you'd like to continue with the next contract. You'll also see that it tells you it's posted that payment to notes receivable in the finance company, so you can immediately begin to take payments. Here I have the next contract, so I can review the information. If I want to put my T at the end, I can do that, so I know that this one was a transfer as well. Click transfer, and it'll begin the same process. So I can continue that with my selected contracts, and then once I've completed the process, I can close the screen and move to the next activity I need to complete in Fusion.